Greetings, this is Earthman, Origami's living soil, servant of the Most High God, servant of a living God, servant of the Great I Am, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, and our God. Recognize him as God or not, he's still God, and he loves you even though you might even hate him or not even recognize him as God, he still loves you. And, uh, well, let's go into what we're going to talk about. We have in this dish right here, Thiobacillus dioxidans. What is that you say? Well, that's a bacteria that helps mobilize sulfur and zinc by emitting enzymes and acids that break it down um, quicker than in a natural uh, form of uh, your soil just... Uh, having different pH levels going up and down throughout the seasons and stuff and um, this makes it plant ready quickly just as if um, you were pouring a liquid fertilizer in there but even better because it doesn't uh, just pour a whole bunch uh, of liquid fertilizer on your root system that you know your plant just doesn't want to uptake so quickly this releases it in a natural form through the cooperation of mycorrhizal bringing it back to the roots that way your plant can get the different nutrients it needs and so the thiobacillus dioxidans that will mobilize sulfur and zinc quick thing about sulfur and zinc sulfur and zinc are very necessary uh, you know and do the research for your plants, um, without them, your plants will suffer. And I'll do a quick thing here. Uh, sulfur is important for your plant's health resistance. It also helps process proteins, amino acids, enzymes, and vitamins. So in other words, it's there to help keep your plant healthy and strong. Zinc helps your plant in hormone production, inner, uh, inner node elongation, and you know the inner uh, you know production inner node and um, enzyme production for metabolic reactions in other words um, that end part there to help your plant cope with stress in the environment be it drought weather insects or whatever will stress your plant out this helps your plant um, not get all stressed out as much as if it didn't have zinc in there and also zinc is an important part of your plants new growth you know the new growth that happens um, during a photosynthesis and natural growth and so um, thiobacillus uh, thioxidans is a very important bacteria to incorporate into your bacteria profile into your rhizosphere soil uh, of the plants that you're growing. This is a, a, ba a bacteria that you should really look into instead of you know introducing liquid fertilizers which plants are not designed to uptake in such a quick manner. This breaks it or mobilizes it and gets it to your roots through the mycorrhizal in itself um, in a slow way and a natural way um, and that way your plant uptakes the zinc and sulfur naturally at a natural rate and your plant will be healthy and strong, big, and grow to its full genetic value, giving you either flowers or fruit or vegetables that are not only beautiful, tasty, smell good, but are super healthy and high in antioxidants. So, look, if you want to do organic growing, um, this is one answer to that problem of zinc and sulfur uptake. So, once again, that bacteria is called thiobacillus thioxidans, and it's a mobilizer of both sulfur and zinc. And that's pretty much all I have for you. I really, um, I'm going to start praying for you guys, my audience that you will know God personally, just as I do, because he is a great God. And I hope that God blesses your plants this summer, blesses your family, and just blesses you and opens up our eyes to the reality that everything that we need in soil is already there. We just need to find the different sources of bacteria, assemble them into one area, 
inoculate your plant and bing it a boom before you know it you got giant plants that make great food i hope you have a great day god bless you